All right, so we're doing the optimization video. It's been requested a lot, and New World is quite a demanding game. Um, if first, I'm gonna quickly uh, cover my PC specs. So I'm using a 3060 Ti and i5-11600K and 32 gigabytes of uh, DDR4 at 3200, as you can see here. Now, if you want to get into overclocking, I'm gonna uh, recommend you over to Freethe. Um, he is probably one of the top people in the community when it comes to overclocking art recommendations and just overall how to get the most juice out of your PC or if you're looking to get a better PC what you should go with on two drivers um, Usually I would say the latest driver I wouldn't go with but so far I've had no issues with 527.56 It's been pretty smooth sailing for the most part you search up Nvidia drivers and then you choose your drivers You know on GeForce 3060 3060 Ti you hit search and it comes up and you hit download you click on the exe and you install it now the next thing is um, XMP or DOCP um, it can have different names effectively it's making sure your ram is running at its correct speed um that you you know you purchased it so for me 3200 megahertz right i'm assuming most people know how to get into bios but basically before your pc boots up like as soon as you turn it on you spam f2 key or delete key depending some different and then that'll bring you into the bios and here you will see something called either ai overclock tuner or you could see something called extreme memory profile sounds for xmp but yeah, so you want to make sure it's set to XMP. There should be a profile already set there for you to just flick over. Then you save and exit your BIOS, and that's done. You've got XMP enabled, and that's going to be a huge performance gain right there. And again, if you want to get more in-depth into BIOS and all this kind of stuff, overclocking and stuff, highly recommend checking out Freethe, a great guy to follow on that sort of stuff. Now, the next thing is the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. A lot of people are curious about this. This is how you can make your game look a little bit more um, play doughy, <laughs> if you get what I mean, and how you can get a little bit more FPS. So again, you go to this link. I'll provide it in the description. And you go down to this one right here. You click on this NVIDIA your profile inspector.zip and then you will run that the nvidia profile inspector hang on let me back out actually actually we'll qu quickly run through the nvidia control panel because i feel like this is a good one to definitely go through so go to manage 3d settings and then go to program settings and then find the new world.exe now if you can't find the new world.exe you want to click add and then you want to go and browse for it. The EXC is generally located in C. It's x86 Steam, um, Steam apps. Wherever you just saved your game, basically in Steam, Steam, Steam apps, common, um, New World, and then it's this guy right here. You add this guy, open, and now you have all these. Um, you can you can pause the video, see what I have set here. A lot of these don't really matter. There's a couple that matter. Put low latency mode to on cap your frame rate to one fps below your fresh rate so i'm at 144 hertz so i set to 143 right now the important setting here is anti-alien transparency needs to be set to 8x super sample but it basically ties into our level of detail bias setting um and the other few important ones in here is um open gl rendering make sure you set that to your gpu power management mode prefer maximum performance um, and your texture filtering quality to high performance this is basically everything in here there's not really much else down here that you need to worry about to be honest um, i'll go into my settings and we'll cover a few of the you know windows settings all right so in windows you can actually go to you can also see my motherboard here i'm running on the b560m orange pro ax was gpu graphic settings now i've actually got a tweaked operating system so it might not actually load but effectively um where is it yeah play new world i've set play new world to high performance so you can add an app so you go here and you again go back to steam apps common new world you add the launcher and you add the dot exe um and you set it to high performance um and then there's also um hardware acceleration yeah this one here this is it here so 
you want to have this one on harder accelerator gpu scheduling turn this on i think that's basically everything that i need to cover in windows settings that's actually important you know, hardware and you know again overclocks come down to the majority of where your performance gains come from there's only so much you can do um, from like settings and side stuff and all that now i think we're finally on profile inspector all right so the nvidia profile inspector open you know just launch the exe now in the top right here type in new worlds this one right here scroll down and the reason this is the anti-aliasing um times eight that we actually set on in the uh control panel and now come down to texturing texture filtering load bias now if you want to see the most gains with the worst looking game go to plus three if you want to run what i run i run 1.125 you know this is what i like this is what i found comfortable with where i still get some of the quality and some of the gains of that of, of the actual experience so i, I like one a one dot one but you can test out see which setting you like plus is high plus is lower minus is higher um so don't don't really go near minus plus zero is back to normal that's what if you want to change off these settings plus three being the worst there is a lower one you can go to but i'm not going to put that here because it's actually an in so i'm not going to lie with you you will not be able to see abilities you will not be able to see projectiles you will not be able to trees will block your vision they look like minecraft cubes it's not worth it 1.1 to 2 is the recommended range so now that we're done with that i guess we can probably boot into new worlds now when it comes into the game we go to video tab first we'll quickly cover this one so i'm running 1080p you know you could be 1440p 4k whatever suits your boat um i play on max fov lower fov might give you uh increased uh, uh fps gains but i don't really think it matters you want to play highest uh, highest fov anyways especially if you're a pvp player um, now video quality settings all low absolutely all low now uh something i'd like to point out i think there's a setting that you can't actually toggle off from the individual um individual drop downs so you actually have to go to custom and then you have to hit low and then what i like to do is i like to re-hit low just to make sure this thing's locked in because you do not know what new world can new world does we don't know if things are actually applying it's it's a buggy mess right um and now dynamic resolution scaling it's basically the cheap poor man's dlss off keep that shit off please if you sync keep that shit off too uh go up to the game tab and then you know turn camera shake off please um nameplates keep this at like eight to ten is what i'd recommend for pvp now down to this one here so bandwidth mode set it to high um if you have really shitty internet though then you might want to try medium or low emit uh, client telemetry data off I, I think that mostly covers it so there's only a few players around you get it you will get some initial stutters um when you first teleport to a place on your first client load of the day um because it's actually just rendering in all the chunks effectively you know, like minecraft you got rendering all the chunks but um you know we will oh shit okay i can't alt tab i can't free look okay there we go but um yeah it's it's pretty uh smooth i would say um, this is the frames I get. Again, this is on a 3060 Ti and i5 11600K. Um, 32 gigs of RAM at 3200. Yeah, um, and you know, if you if you're struggling in performance, um, I'd say again, your best way to get more frames is upgrade your paths um, and overclocking again if you want to get into overclocking and what paths recommend part recommendations check out Freethi's channel he does very very good videos and that kind of stuff um yeah so that, that's basically the sort of the light optimization video i want to get this out there because i haven't really seen a proper one um about new world yet and i think it, it definitely deserves uh to be put out there so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one